Okay, so today I'm going to, I'm going to teach you how to fix a flat tire on a Saunders electric bike without removing the entire tire or the inner tube. It just it's just easier not to have to deal with with the gear and the, you know and the brakes and the chain on the other side and by keeping the wheel on its place and fixing a small hole in the inner tube. So the first thing you do is to inflate the inner tube and find the hole. In this case I kept the valve in its place and made sure it does not go inside the wheel so I have easy access to inflate the inner tube and then I have located a small pinhole so what I did I circled with a pen and with a pencil where the where the hole is I used a simple kitchen knife a simple kitchen knife to scrape where the hole is just to clean up the area then I insert my hand along the tire and checked to see if there is a nail, a stick, a piece of glass, something that can puncture a hole through the tire and through the inner tube. In this case I found nothing. I actually at the bottom here I found a little piece of wood, like a little piece of stick. These tires, the, the fat tires, are very misleading. They look rough and mean, but actually they are very thin. And anything can puncture a hole through the rubber, and the inner tube is even thinner. So what I did, I circled where the, the pinhole is, it's right over here. And now I scraped to clean up the area. And what I did, I got a, a cereal box. Yes, I'm not, I'm not using any repair kit. I'm using everyday household materials that I found in my recycling bin and my, in my toolbox to fix the spin hole. So what I did, I cut out a little circle from that uh, card box, from the cereal box. And what I'll do, I'll, I'm going to insert, apply this little card box piece on top of the hole after, after I have used super glue. Again, any, any old super glue should do the trick. And it's this, it costs pennies if you think uh, on the overall cost to repair your inner tube. So let me see, uh, and I, well, since I have, I have this forge in my toolbox, I will use it to apply pressure to my repair kit, my makeshift repair kit. But you can use a pair of pliers, you can use your own fingers, you can apply pressure with your thumb and finger for a few seconds to make sure the super glue and the cardboard are in place and again this is a homemade repair kit and the, the greatest advantage of this system is that first you don't have to remove the wheel to repair your inner tube second you're using everyday household appliances uh, that you you may have in your garage or if you need to buy them they are very cheap and easily accessible so let me get to it I'll pause for a second and I'll come back once I have put the super glue and the patch in place okay so I have used super glue and now I put some pressure where I put the patch and the super glue on it then I can peel off part of the patch we just leave it alone it's just uh, paper anyway 
but I will leave it drying out for a few minutes and, and put it to the test. So let's see how this will hold up. Okay, now the paper is dried out. I mean, the glue is dried out and the paper is in place. I can peel or not the first uh, layer or the whole thing. I will try to leave as is like this and put some air and see if it's holding. Okay, just pop the tire into the wheel. It's very easy. The inner tube first and then the tire. You have to make sure that the valve is sticking out so we can inflate. So let me put some air here now. To insert the tire is very easy. I mean, it took me like five seconds. So I just put some air using my old school uh, air pump and now I will measure I mean, these tires, these fat tires to take up to 20 PSI. 3.5 PSI. And that was a bad reading. I will try it again. Be like 19, 20 by now. Let's see. Okay. 19.5 psi. 19.5. Perfect. I'm gonna put the cat back on. And done. Tire fixed and bike is ready to roll. Took me a few minutes and less than one dollar in total cost. Good luck. Thanks, bike.